Hi guys, it's the Doctor back again with another Gary's Man video for your way of becoming a pro, hopefully, of the game or trying to make your own machinima videos or whatever you want to make with it. If it's going to be a series or just pretty much tips on the game, really. So yeah, this is going to be how you can change the physics of the game to meet your match and how you can make it a little bit better. So for your, like, your different shots, if you want to get like a mixture of it without eating up your PC, yeah, this is um, how I'm going to do it. So. Let me, let's say I'm going to just spawn in a Breen. And I want to get a, a, a shot of him kind of flying past the camera, but in slow motion. So if I film this in After Effects with the camera, not After Effects, what am I talking about? If I put the camera here, let's say I'll enable the hood, and I'll get my physics gun, I'll remove the beams by the drawing menu, remove the hood. And I do this, get in the camera, and I go like that. And it works, it's completely fine. But you want to slow it down in Vegas or whatever software you're using. Please do not use one of Movie Maker's pile of shit. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll pull up a, a good convincing slow mo. However, it's just not going to look as good as you could get it to look. And you can add stuff in the, this game that can allow you to achieve that shot in slow-mo so you don't even have to do it in um, uh, Vegas so it's gonna just pay off in the end so if I'm gonna spawn this character here I'm gonna put the character here I'm gonna set up for this shot so let's say I'm gonna have a slowly she's just been kinda like shot or something and she's flying and hitting the wall we want that in slow motion so what you wanna do is you wanna press your uh, I'll get rid of this add on this folder section kind of thing. You want to build up your console menu. And what you want to do is you want to click on the console menu and to get this kind of slow mo um, effect, and you need to actually enable the cheats. So let me just make this a little bit bigger for you, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a lot better. So if I now type in SV underscore cheats, and if you type in zero, that means the cheats aren't, aren't um, open and if you type in one the cheats are enabled so if I type in SV cheats one it'll say SV CVAR SV cheats change to one this means that the cheats of SV have been enabled on the server by the admin or the host which is me so now that the cheat has been enabled I can now type in host this this enables you to kind of change the elements of the game host underscore time Scale. Now this is the time scale of the actual match itself or the server, the mission, whatever the fuck it's called. This allows you to change the time scale. So type in one point the initial is one, that's how fast the game is running right now. If I type in one point five and click enter, the game is gonna run at one point five. Right. Sorry about the lag but it's gonna run pretty fast. So if I now change it to host time scale zero point let's go zero point three because this is kind of like the matrix style fast that we normally have and I kind of that's what we want so I now go and kind of scroll over to her and I'll pick her up one second grab her by yeah there by the tits um, and then I bring her over it's already looking quite cool right now. I uh, flip, trying to move her over, bring her towards the camera. No! You dumb bitch, you just ruined my shot. Alright. Let me move the camera. Here. Oh, I'll make it static. She's not gonna do anything. Alright, here it is. So now we grab her. Freezer because I want to get rid of these halos and beams and stuff because even though I'm not recording I just like the look of it. So now if I grab her, I click record on fraps or whatever and then I go throw her. You can have that kind of matrix-esque feel to it and you can, I don't know, do whatever you want with the, the model so I can try and grab her again. Here we go. You know, I could like slow mo it now, so it's not as fast, but you can really have fun with it. It's pretty much just up to you what you want to do. You can 
make it do a dance. But it's all in slow motion and it's just gonna save time by doing it all in um, Vegas later. Kind of like, come, Jesus Christ. Towards the camera, like this. She's gonna kiss you inside the skull and then wham. So yeah, that follows the uh, SV cheats. And if you wanna go back to normal, you just type in host, and score, time, scale, one. And then now it's normal time again. So we get rid of all the elements here. That's pretty much how you do like a slow mo matrix kind of shot for any anything really. You're gonna be running across it, you're gonna be driving in slow mo, shooting in slow mo. That's how it's gonna work pretty much. It follows the same principles. So now if we want to have a ragdoll throw a ball or throw something kind of dramatically, kind of like Dasbo shit uh, of his videos. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for his channel actually because it's a heavily inspired by this. Um, well, my, mine's heavily inspired by his, sorry. And then, um, yeah, so if I, I'll show you what, it, what I'm trying to talk about. So if I want this guy throwing a ball, let's say, he's just um, standing him up, wherever he is, stamp him. So stamp pose him, we change his face, I'm not happy with that. Face, let's change it to a smiley face. That one. Let's just do a, Whoa! If you do go into the face pose and you choose, preset face it's because of the fixed scale if the problem is problem is you need to just turn the fixed scale down and then in seconds mess about with it press C if you don't want to then you then you should get to somewhere where it's no not blowing let's say can't believe it nice or oh, happy yeah let's do that let's just um yeah like that. let's uh, do it yeah we like that so if I do that Let's increase his head size because inflate his head a bit. Looks a lot more like um, that's bullshit right now. So now if I, yeah, I've got this. Me enable the uh, hood and the beams and all that so we can set this guy up. So now what I've got to do is I've got to find whatever I want him to throw. So if I want him to throw this kind of baby, first things first, I want to no collide them. We've, um, Learn this in the people's tutorial, hopefully. No collide him. And the baby. I then want to bring the baby up. To his hand. That's a good position. Hopefully we can just make it really better. Let me um, actually go into the finger pose and try. That's I think, I think the baby can just do it. That'll do. No, it won't. I'm not happy with it. See, I have to make it kind of precise, so... It's just not happening for me. Nah, you know what? I don't care. That'll do. Yeah, I love that. So what I want to do now is I want to weld it. And I want to weld it to, let's say, 300. 380. Weld it to his hand. Let's make it so... This arm's down. Don't grab the baby, whatever you do when you're doing this. Now we just have it so the wrist, the hand is active. Oh shit, that was lucky. And then we have him up. And then we have him here. So I want him to throw this baby arm. Well, this baby, pretty much. So I'll, just in case this doesn't work, you want to just make sure you have a duplication ready so you can realign the shot. And then um, I want to put my camera in. Static the camera so the baby won't uh, uh, get in the camera's way. Make sure I've got the hand selected. Make sure I'm not in the shot. Me, um... Am I in the shot? No, I'm not. Let's grab the hand. Yeah, it's about there. Get rid of the halo beam, get rid of the grab. Grab his hand. The hood will be off, uh, and I shouldn't be in the shot, but you'll kind of see what I mean. You want to drag it and let go. Oh shit, I didn't know what it. Yeah, oh yeah, that's why. I need to grab the baby. Yeah, to grab, actually grab the baby now. And try and do this. Oh, bastard! Man. Let me just delete him and get him set up again. Let me 
the podium set up again. That's it. And now we'll just set it to a thousand because that previous was just a small one. Freeze the baby. No! You wanker. Um, put the duplicator in. So this is really unprofessional right now. I'm just like just failing. Right. The welding. Come on, baby. Actually, I'm gonna set it to two thousand. Set the world to two thousand. That should be enough. Way enough. Freeze the baby. Did he let go? Ah, he's got it! Ah, okay. Yeah. Come on, you knobhead. Why is his arm bending? Yeah, there we go. Let's throw this baby, come on. Now grab the baby. Grab it. Go to shot. There you go. And he throws it. That's pretty much how ragdoll throwing stuff works. You know if you you'll know what to do. It follows the same principles as most things. And then that's it. So um yeah. That's how that works. So now, from what we've just learned, I just want to quickly go over how you can run ragdolls over with a car. If I put um, a ragdoll in this game, I go into characters, click on that's bullshit, not that's bullshit, why am I saying that's bullshit? Um, <laughs> click on Breen, put Breen up, put, put him down there. We're going to use about 2,000 for this as well. So I weld his head to the floor, feet to the floor, knees to the floor, hips, fingers, chest to the floor. I then want to go into the physics, press him and press R. This is going to completely unfreeze him. He's now welded to the floor. So because he's welded to the floor, but it's a, there's a force limit, that means that the limit can be broken, which means his weld can be broken, which means we can hit him with a car. So we put the static camera in, now we've gone to the vehicle section, not the vehicles, the vehicle section. Click on halfway, jeep. Set up the jeep, so we can run him over. Stay there. Make it so we only have to stay forward. Go into the camera. Quickly just press Y and it doubles up. We can successfully run him over and that's how that works pretty much. So yeah. This has been it for this video guys. I've hoped you've enjoyed it. This has just been nitpicking some little techniques and things you can use when you're making your own little G Moddy videos. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Hopefully you can um make something so far right now with some of the techniques you've learned from these videos and yeah thanks for watching guys please stay tuned for the next one